everyone, welcome back to Altair Solar. I'm your host, Ariana Escalante, and I'm joined today by President Khalid Al Sheriff. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me again. So in a previous video, we talked about the main components of a solar panel system, but I want to talk a little bit more about inverters. You are an expert in this, but let's just start with the basics. What is an inverter? Thank you, thank you. I appreciate uh, the fact that you call me an expert. So, <laughs> you know, uh, well, an inverter is basically the device that's responsible for uh, changing the current type uh, that's produced by the solar panel, which is a DC current or direct current, uh, to an AC current or an alternating current. Uh, the, since we're connecting to the utility, uh, the utility makes, they want to make sure that you're producing uh, power worthy, if you will, you know, uh, type of uh, current, you know, or, or power that, that can be used at the utility side. This means that the inverter is responsible for making this power, uh, matching the voltage of the grid and also the frequency, uh, and which is 240 volts for the voltage and then 60 hertz for the frequency here in America. Uh, so this is, this is the main function of the inverter. Uh, it uses a microchip uh, to actually make that conversion uh, and then uh, based on that uh, you know you can actually change the frequency like let's say if you're if you're if you're doing this in Europe that's 50 hertz frequency so the inverter will actually uh, match that or also if the frequency I mean I'm sorry the voltage is different then uh, it's responsible for changing that as well. <music> Uh, and, you know, so there are a variety of different types of inverters out there, but they mostly break into, uh, or they actually only two types, if you will. Uh, there's a lot of manufacturers, but two types. There's a, what's called a central, or uh, sometimes you call it a string inverter, and there's a micro inverter. Uh, the differences are, uh, in a string inverter, you have one inverter, or maybe two at best per, per site in a residential home. A micro inverter, you'll have um, a, an inverter per panel. So let's say you have a 20 panel solar system on top of your roof uh, and a string inverter, there's mostly gonna be only one, uh, one inverter for that. In a micro inverter, you're gonna have 20 of those. Um, so the major difference in this is you have a single point of failure versus uh, multiple points of failure. Uh, inverters do fail because the major components is, are uh, the major components in them are, as I mentioned, a microchip. Um, you know, technology is obviously very advanced, but there's failure rates, uh, so it affects these components. You know, uh, so when an inverter fails, if it's a central inverter, the whole system is not producing power. If this happens during the summer uh, months and you know you're using your AC a lot, you know that that ends up being a problem because then now you're, you're actually gonna pay for, for your electricity instead of having it free, right? Versus a microinverter, if you have 20 of them, you're not gonna have all 20 failing at a time, uh, unless you're a very unlucky person. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, it's, it, you know, you're gonna have one at best two failing. So that means you're actually uh, gonna have 18 of them or so working. Uh, so that's kind of like the main advantage. And uh, the leader in the, uh, the microinverter world is a company called Enphase. Uh, they've been around since, uh, I believe, 2006. They've uh, basically mastered and perfected the manufacturing of microinverters. Uh, we, we are pretty biased towards, uh, you know, microinverters in general at Altair Solar. Uh, and then in general towards microinverters because of the fact that you have a single point of failure versus multiple points of failure. Uh, we do give production guarantees to our consumers. So let's say we design a system and we tell you the system is gonna offset your entire electrical bill for a year. Maybe this is equal to uh, 10,000 kilowatt hours. That's the, that's the units of energy. Uh, you know, if you have a central inverter and that inverter failed and we didn't get to replace it for two or three weeks, then actually the production is gonna decrease. Uh, you know, not good for us, not good for the consumer, right? So that's why uh, we prefer microinverters because it allows us to dispatch somebody to replace one microinverter or two, as I said, out of a site much easier. And at the same time, the production loss is minimal, you know, so we can store them in our warehouses because they're that small, you know, they're like uh, maybe uh, um, six by, by 10 inches, something like that. Very small, they go on the back of the panel on the roof. Uh, so it's much easier to store them than a bigger central inverter. So uh, this is kind of like the major, the major uh, differences and, uh, and uh, n you know, like, a, like a, a quick crush course, if you will, in, in inverters, you know. So consumers need to be made aware, um, you know, so they can make the correct decision. Mm -hmm. 
I notice you used the wording a single point of failure or multiple points of failure, but maybe some way to think about it as well is it's a single point of success or multiple points of success, right? Because that's really what it comes down to is hopefully your converter never goes out, but if it does and you only have one central converter, your entire system is out, right? Absolutely. Whereas if you have the micro converters, yeah. there's 18 more chances. Right, right, exactly. I'm gonna start using this line actually. I like <laughs> it. You know, multiple points of success or a single point of success. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty a different way of thinking about it. Absolutely, that's great. So are there any other types to consider and when should someone consider which type they want? All right, so in general, there are no, uh, there are a lot of companies that make inverters, but in, in general, they only break into what we call a string inverter and the term string is actually the technical term for it is a central inverter because it's central it's one but the term central is mostly used for bigger uh, solar farms and the terms that used for residential homes would be the string inverter um, you know a company for example like solar edge is a company that makes a string inverter um, and then a micro inverter is a company like in, in phase makes micro inverters so this typically those are the, the two different uh, um, categories if you will in a in a in a inverter and uh, a lot of companies make both types, you know. So uh, we at Other sort of prefer in phase because they're just proven to be, uh, you know, uh, a good solid product. They've been around for a long time. Uh, so the iterations of, of uh, understanding, uh, you know, what you need as a comp in, in, com in the components for the solar, uh, I mean, for the, for the inverter itself, uh, is just basically they've been around for almost 20 years now, right? So, uh, you know, so it makes, it makes a huge difference because sometimes the power that's coming from the utility, even though they require the inverters to produce clean, clean power, sometimes the power that's coming from the utility itself is not good and sometimes it actually affects the microinverters and, and it damages them. So Enphase has been basically on for a long time, they've mastered that protection, uh, you know, what to do in case of a power uh, surge, let's say, from the utility that's come in, how the, how the microinverters can shut down themselves and protect themselves from failing. Uh, also, the other companies do, do something uh, similar, but uh, again, this, this, uh, this, this failure could affect one or two versus, uh, you know, just one and the entire system is down, right? So, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. I think it makes see so much more sense now what an inverter is and how it works. So thank you for joining us. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to let us know. Again, this is Altair Solar, and we hope to see you soon.